Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mysterious Monsters. In this week's episode, we take a look at the Loveland Frogman. Now, these amphibious anomalies have shocked and terrified both businessmen, farmers and police officers and remain one of the most intriguing cryptozoological mysteries in the United States. One of the most intriguing cases encountered is that of the Loveland Frogman, or Loveland Lizards. The story of these unique creatures begins in May of 1955 on a lonely stretch of road that runs along the Miami River in Claremont County, just on the outskirts of a small town known as Loveland, Ohio. At approximately 3.30 a.m., an unnamed businessman claimed to have witnessed three bipodal quasi-reptilian entities congregating by the side of the road. The man pulled his car to the curb and observed these creatures for what he estimated to be about three minutes. During this time, he noticed that these strange beings stood between three and four feet tall. They were covered in what could only be described as leathery skin and had webbed hands and feet. Their most distinguishing characters, however, was their distinctly frog-like heads, which the man claimed four deep wrinkles where the hair should have been if it was you know, by a normal man. Thus begins the bizarre legend of the Loveland Frogman. This tale would be fascinating enough if it ended there, but the two most significant encounters in this case, and indeed two of the most obviously encounters in the annals of cryptozoology, logic, were yet to come at around 1am on the 3rd of March 1972, nearly 17 years after the first report. A police officer who suddenly chose to remain anonymous was travelling along the Riverside Road heading towards Loveland when he saw something that would forever change his life. The officer claimed to be driving slowly due to the obviously substantial amount of ice at the time. Um, when he saw what looked like a dog inside of the curb. Then suddenly the animal darted in front of the car, forcing the officer to slam on the brakes in order to avoid a you know, potential collision with the creature. Once the police cruiser came to a halt, its headlights fell upon the prone animal. At this point the officer describes something that seems literally too bizarre to be true. In the span of seconds, this crouched frog-like creature stood on two legs. Stared back at the policeman, then scrambled over the guardrail and scurried down the, you know, in the embankment, finally disappearing into the Ohio River. It's quite, you know, uh, being the Ohio River is there. It's quite, um, how can I put it? Um, it's very, you know, lucky, and you know, it would just happen to be next to the river where the frogman can get away. So. I think it stays close to escape routes in, in regards to, you know, um, its territory, so it's quite territorial in that respect. Um, the officer uh, in question described the creature as being 3 to 4 foot tall and weighing in the area of 50 to 75 pounds. Uh, he also claimed that its skin you know, had leathery texture and that the animal's features resembled those of a frog or a lizard. Uh, another officer in investigated the scene uh, later that evening. He saw no sign of the creature, but reported that there was distinct scratch marks on the guardrail where the animal you know, reportedly crossed. Uh, the second sighting occurred two weeks later while the police officer Mark Matthews uh, had an encounter uh, in, of, you know, of his own, according to the report. Officer Matthews, uh, well, while driving into Loveland, spotted what he believed to be an injured animal laying on the pavement. Matthews climbed out of his cruiser with the intention of removing the, uh, you know, the carcass from the already ice, you know, the ice slipping road. Uh, when the creature abruptly lunged upwards into a crouched position, taken back by the frogman's, you know, reptilian, uh, you know, stance, Matthews uh, unholstered his revolver and took a shot at the creature, which then proceeded to hobble over the side of the road and step over the guardrail. Uh, all the while keeping a watchful eye on the trigger happy officer Matthews Frogman uh, matched the officer's description down to the last detail. 
with the exception of a tail, uh, which was absent in you know early reports. Uh, in the years which has you know have followed these events, Oxley Matthews has you know uh, what's that? Oh, I can't even say that word. Uh, somewhat on his tail, he now claims that the animal in question was nothing more than a large reptile which escaped from its owner. So you're telling me a three to four foot tall um, frogman who can jump over guardrails has webbed feet was someone's pet. Right, it's kind of like saying, oh yeah, I just, I just took my Sasquatch for a walk last week. Whoever reported on this has really not done a good job. They've got they've got some good descriptions, but in regards to the, the monster itself, the frogman, you know, it kind of ties in with the lizardman as well, because that's one of the first ever, you know, monsters I actually spoke on. Um, but in regards to the frogman, it's kind of an intriguing story. If there's anybody in the um, Loveland, you know, Ohio area, then obviously you know you know where to go now if you want to get a, uh, you know see the see if the scratch marks are still on the guardrail I'd love to see that um, I was actually asked to do um, frogman by a person on YouTube so you know I've done the video for you I've got as much information um, as I can in regards to the frogman the only thing is 30 years later uh, there's been only what well, can only well two two more sightings what the first, well, the first one in 1995 uh, by a lady who was just driving along the, you know, the uh, Ohio Loveland Road, and the second was in 2012, so it's four years ago, the last sighting, and it was by a young man who was um, doing a little bit of uh, camping near the Ohio River when he was, you know. It was uh, camping down for the night. Then, obviously, in the morning, she says that he, uh, he actually spotted the frog and jumping into the river and then jumping out again. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's quite an intriguing uh, story, if I'm honest. And it's one that it's one that I've, I'm actually um, quite interested in. I mean, Frogman's quite a legendary monster. If it was first spotted in 1955. Um, but in regards to the report that I've just, you know, obviously read out to you. It seems there is more than one, so it could be one or two. And in regards to it being someone's pet, I highly doubt that. I mean, who the hell has a three to four foot frogman as a pet? I mean, that's that's completely wrong. Um, but yeah, I kind of like this this frogman one. Um, it's, it's, I'd say it's definitely one of the most interesting ones that I've done so far, and the one that I've got a lot of information from as well. Um, so yeah, it was quite a good one. So thank you very much for watching everyone, um, if you're watching this on YouTube please subscribe and come to my Facebook give us a like uh, and hopefully it help us reach 2000 likes now on Facebook because we are very close to that in the landmark. Um, but yeah thanks for watching everyone and stay tuned for more, um, the next video I think will be sometime during the week, I'll do another one of them um, ghost picture analysis videos. Um, but yeah, but thank you very much for watching this video everyone, please subscribe, give us a like on Facebook and stay tuned for more.